In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to create a dependent drop-down list. And first, let's write some details. Let's expand this particular page. And let's say the first list will be the make of a car. And we're going to have two options, either Hyundai or Honda. Now, if we select the Hyundai or Hyundai vehicle as our make, we're going to have three options to choose from. The Elantra or the Sonata model or the Hyundai Genesis. Now, if we select the Elantra as our second option, we're going to have two different colors to choose from either white or silver. And if we select the Sonata model, we're going to have two colors to choose from as well, black or blue. And if we select, let's say, the Honda Genesis, we're going to have three colors to choose from, green, red, or black. Now, if we choose Honda over Hyundai, we're going to have two different makes to choose from. I mean, two different models, Honda Civic or the Honda Accord model. Now, if we choose the Honda Civic model, we're going to have four colors to choose from. So it's either going to be yellow, black, orange or red. Now if we choose the Honda Accord, we're going to have five colors to choose from. White, blue, purple, red, or black. So now let's expand the width of these columns. So we're going to have a drop down list for our first option, that is the make of the vehicle, and another drop down list for the second option, the model, and another one for the color of the vehicle. So to make the first drop down list, simply highlight this cell, A14, and then click Data, and then Data Validation. Now, in this section under validation criteria, change the selection from any value to list. Now, once you have this option, you could simply type in the two different makes that we have. In this case, Hyundai and Honda, separated by a comma. And so you can see now we can choose either Hyundai or Honda. Now, I'm going to insert a new cell because this is coming out of the screen. Actually, let's undo that. I lose my drop down option. But hopefully you can see at least most of the word Hyundai and Honda. Now what I'm going to do is change the background color for these uh, cells. Let's make this gray. Let's make this one. Let's choose light blue. And then the last one Let's make it yellow. Now, what we need to do at this point is make the second drop down list that will appear here dependent on the selection that we choose in the first drop down list. So, in order to do this, we need to name the different ranges that we have. So, let's call this range make, and let's call these three names, let's call it Hyundai. And then these two, we'll call it Elantra. And then these two, Sonata. And then the next three, let's call it Genesis. And then these two, we're going to call it Honda. And just call name every range based on the title that's above it. 
and watch out for your spelling. Okay, so once we finish naming every range, let's go ahead and turn this into a dependent drop-down list. So now select this cell and then go to data and then data validation. We're going to select lists and this time in the source field type in equal indirect parentheses. Now we want the second list to depend on the first so we're going to select this cell that is cell A14 because that is the location of the information with our first list. Once you select it, close the parentheses and then click OK. So now, if we select Hyundai, we're going to get these three choices, Elantra, Sonata, and Genesis. As you can see, we have that, Elantra, Sonata, or Genesis. Now, if we change the entry of the first list, let's say to Honda, we should get these two options, Civic and Accord. And so we could see that we have, we could choose Civic or Accord. Now, let's go ahead and create a third drop-down list that is dependent on the second drop-down list. And this part is not going to be any difficult than the last part. All we need to do is just repeat the process at this point. So we're going to use the indirect function like we did for the second drop-down list. And we don't have to name this again. Once you set the name for these ranges, you're done with that. So once you select cell C14, go to data and then data validation one more time. And let's select lists. And then for the source field, type in indirect equals indirect and then parentheses. Now, the third list will depend on the entry for the second list. So the entry for the second list is cell B14. Select cell B14, close parentheses, and then press OK. So if we choose Honda for the make, Accord for the model, then for the Honda Accord, we have these five colors. We could choose white, blue, purple, red, or black. And you can see uh, the options here. We can go with white, purple, red, and so forth. Now, let's go from Honda to Hyundai. And this time, let's select the Genesis. So we should get these three colors, so green, red, and black. And you can see we have that green, red, or black. Now let's go back to Honda. So from Honda, we have two options, Civic or Accord for the second list. Let's select Civic this time. And then if we choose Civic, we should have these four options, yellow, black, orange, or red. And we do have that here, yellow, orange, black, or whatever we want to choose from. And so now we have created multiple dependent lists. So the second list, that is the second drop-down list, depends on the first one. And the third drop-down list is dependent on the second one. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to create a multiple dependent drop-down list. And just to review, for the first one, you can simply go to data validation and just type in the options for the first drop-down list. But for the second one, make sure you use the indirect function and select the previous cell uh, for which the second drop-down list depends on. And that's basically it. Now, if you want to find more of my tutorials on Excel, I'm going to post a link in the description section of this video where you can access my other Excel video tutorials. Now, I do have some other videos that are non-Excel related. For example, if you're learning algebra, geometry, trig, I do have videos on that. So if you check out my channel, you could find those playlists. I also have some on chemistry, physics, calculus, and other things that you might find helpful. So feel free to take a look at that if that's something that uh, you're interested in. Now, if you do like this video, feel free to like, comment, or even subscribe to this channel if you appreciate this information. So that's all I got. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.